Hey guys, welcome back to Moe's Game Table. Today we're going to take a look at Save Afghanistan Comrade and Save South Vietnam. These are games designed by Robert Funuf and published by Fortress Games. I just got these in the mail from Kickstarter. I literally just got them. I went to the front door, saw the package, opened it up, saw it was these games, and I set up the camera and says, hey, I'm going to shoot a quick video so we can take a look inside and see what these games are all about together. These are Ziploc games, and you can see they both use a folio format which we're going to look through here. But the coolest thing about it is the counters come punched. So there's no need to worry about punching out your counters. You can still clip them if you want to, but these look really clean from first glance through the bag. But they basically come in a Ziploc and you get your folio, you get your dice and you get your counters here. So uh, I just set them up side by side and we're gonna look through both of them. The games look like they're using the same system. Obviously there's gonna be some differences because of Afghanistan and Vietnam. The terrain alone I should expect would be different, but the systems should be pretty much the same. Both of these will be asymmetric conflicts. You have the Soviets against the Mujahideen and then you have the US versus the VC and the NVA. So let's dive right in and take a look at the components and see what these games look like. We'll start off by taking a look at Save Afghanistan Comrade. We've got our folio on the front has the nice little art. On the back we have an example of the counters and the map. And then we have a little bit of a background on the game. It says, communism met its grave here in Afghanistan. But did it have to? That's up to you, Comrade General. You take command of the 40th Soviet Army in December 1979. Reactionary hooligan forces have created instability in the budding workers' paradise of Afghanistan to the Soviet Union south, and the Afghan army seems to have melted away. Initially, Soviet regiments must tamp down those CIA lackeys, the Mujahideen. But long term, you need to reestablish control by building back up the Democrat Republic of Afghanistan's army and security forces. Although our heroic Red Army comes only in peace, the fact is that foreign armies have only created resistance in Afghanistan historically. So don't think you can win the war without the Afghans as firm and strong allies. And uh, that is the back of the folio. So let's take a look and see what we get inside. We've got our manual. Inside the manual, we have a player aid. Anything else in there? Nope. We've got our player aid and then our map. And then we have our counters and a pair of dice. And these counters really are sharp looking. Let's uh, pull a couple of these out just so you can see what I'm talking about with regards to them not being not only punched out, but really, really clean. And here's what I'm talking about. Look how cleanly punched these are. They are very, very nice. You don't need to clip them unless you want to. And at the top, we've got the Adra forces for the Afghan army. Then we have the Soviets below that. And then at the bottom, we have the Mujahideen and their leaders. And here's a look at the map that comes with the game. It is a beautifully done, thick cardstock map. First impressions, I'm impressed. I really like the look of it here. You've got your CRT at the top, Chiefs Lost in Combat, and then each of the regions is broken down. For Afghanistan and inside each region is what I'm gonna call a control card. You've got uh, your political track, you've got your Mujahideen here, you've got your police, and then in the center it says Paul point, so it's either police or political points, I'm not sure, but looks like that is a police cap there, so I'm going to guess police cap. Then you have your Soviet Reinforcement Regiment Recovery Area at the top left. On the bottom left you have your turn phases, helicopter movement track, and then of course the political images down here for the Soviet soldier, and the Afghan Mujahideen up there at the top. Uh, really impressed with this map, first glance, really like it, looking forward to checking this game out. Now we'll take a look at the player aid that comes with the game. We have, it looks like a track marker here for turns that starts in 1979, goes all the way to 1992. Then we have our chiefs and our foreign fighters. It'll tell you what's coming in and where they will be located. And at the bottom right, we have a Spetsnaz chart for the Soviets. Now we'll take a look at the rules. This is a 14 page rule book. And let me tell you something, this uh, nice thick cardstock cover, I love it. It is uh, showing high quality production, that's for sure. We start off with a little bit of background on the game and the setting. Then we get to the table of contents here on page one. We start off with the game board, which will explain to you all aspects of the game board, which we just looked at. And then you have the counters. It'll explain how to read those and how they're used. Then we have the game setup on page four. And then it starts off with the regular turn, walks you through all the steps. 
for each of the turns. Then you have the extended year-end turn phases explained to you as well, how you're going to be handling that. And we have movement, combat. Everybody wants to know about combat. And then we have fallen provinces, victory and defeat. And then we have designer's notes on page 12. So the rules only go to page 11. And I think it was the rules didn't actually start, let's see here, until page three or four, actually. So eight pages of rules. Pretty easy to grok and get on the table. Then we have some designer's notes starting on page 12. And that carries over to the end of the rule book. Now we're at the back of the rule book where we have the initial setup explained to you for the game. Now we'll switch gears and take a look at South Vietnam. And you got great front cover. And on the back it says here, in 1965 it looked as if all was lost for South Vietnam. The Viet Cong ascendant. North Vietnam decided to tip the balance by secretly introducing its regular army regiments to the fight, even as the South Vietnamese army was in full collapse. It might well have ended right there and then, with the South Vietnamese additionally riven by internal rivalries and coups or the threats of coups. But President Johnson decided to send in the Marines, literally, to buy time and space for South Vietnam to rally. Now, General, you are in charge. And we see an example of the map and the counters. And it's going to have the same setup as we just saw with Afghanistan. Inside, we have our great folio cover. And then we have our game manual, which looks like it has a very similar player aid to what we just saw with Afghanistan. Our rule book and the map. So we're going to set up the map and take a look at Save South Vietnam. And here's a look at the map for Save South Vietnam. It is the same as we saw with Save Afghanistan Comrade. Thick cardstock, beautifully done map. Uh, much brighter color palette because you've got uh, the greens here, whereas you had just basically hard scrabble desert uh, mountainous regions in Afghanistan. This is going to be much more pleasing to the eye to look at. We've got the U.S. divisions listed down the right-hand side. We've got the helicopter air cab B-52 movement track down the right-hand side. And then the base areas are around the map, just like we saw in Save Afghanistan. We've got political cadres, combat results, political cadres lost in combat, and the NVA descend into populous areas. At the bottom left, we have the turn phases and the urine phases listed out for us, as well as the calendar, which is going to be your turn track down the left-hand side of the map. Now we'll take a look at the player aid that comes with the game. We have the political cadres received, as well as their placement table. On the right-hand side, we have the NVA regiments received and their placement table. And then we have the Special Forces sortie table down in the bottom left-hand side. Now we'll take a look at the counters that come with this game. Just like we saw at Save Afghanistan Comrade, we have pre-punch counters. We have U.S. forces at top with the 1st Marine Division, URA, and the Big Red One. Arvin forces and police forces, and then the VC and the NVA at the bottom. Really well done counters. Look very easy to read and high quality. Next, we'll take a look at the rules. This is a 16-page rule book. Same as we saw with Save Afghanistan. We've got a nice thick cardstock cover and the semi-gloss paper. It starts off with the introduction to the game. We have the table of contents on the left-hand side, get into the game board, explaining to you all aspects of the game board, then the counters, and then we get to game setup here on page four. So as you can see, it's following almost a nearly identical format that we saw for Save Afghanistan Comrade. So like I said, I think these are going to be pretty much identical systems. There's going to be obviously differences between the games. We have the turn phases and then the uh, year-end turn phase. And we get into movement. You see it looks just like the other rules, combat. And then we get to fallen provinces and Tet Offensive game event, Cambodia incursion and game event Laos incursion. So there's a couple of extra things right there. Then we have the victory and then optional one rule, U.S. Independent Brigades. Optional two rule, which is the Arvin Marines Airborne. So uh, the other rule book went to page 11. This goes to page 13. So there's a couple of extra pages here we saw with uh, the ex explanation here at the Fallen Provinces, Tet Offensive, and then we have the game events that add some more to this game that we did not see in Save Afghanistan, which means that they're going to be using the same system, but uh, there's going to be some differences for sure. Designer's notes then start on page 14, and that goes all the way to the back of the rules. And then on the back, we have the initial setup, just like we saw with Save Afghanistan Comrade. And that is a look at everything you get inside of Save Afghanistan Comrade and Save South Vietnam.
These games are designed by Robert Phaneuf and published by Fortress Games. Like I said, I wanted to give you guys a quick look. It just arrived on my doorstep, so tore it open. I wanted to shoot a quick video and show you guys what I'm seeing as I'm seeing it. This is not my normal preview where I go into greater detail because I don't know that much about these games. And that's one of the things that's going to be fun is exploring them. And the other thing I, I noticed right away, like we saw, was these games are pretty much using the same system. So you play one, you can jump to the other uh, very easy. This one, South Vietnam, looks a little bit like it's got a little more. Obviously, it does have a couple more pages of events. And then there's a couple of optional rules as well. And both of these look like they're going to be a lot of fun. Pretty straightforward pretty easy games to grok and get on the table. The hard part will be winning, and that's what we want with Solitaire War Games, is a game that you can understand pretty quick, but takes a while to beat and takes a while to master. Hopefully these games will fit that bill. And I hope this gives you a couple of new games to check out if you're not already familiar with them. If you missed them on Kickstarter, or if you don't do Kickstarter, you can go check out the Fortress Games website. They've got, uh, I would expect they're gonna have these games on sale, but they've also got the 8th and the 20th Air Force on sale and uh, I'm pretty impressed with the quality of these games so I would say you can buy pretty confidently with those two games if you are interested in solitaire air games. Well I hope that helps you guys out if you'd be curious about these games. You have any comments or questions post them down below. Thanks for tuning in guys. See you next time.